Let's move on to outgoing correspondence. Patricia has an incredibly robust template creation and document generation system, which makes generating documents a breeze. All outgoing documentation can be created using the Patricia document system. First, know that we can set up our own templates according to what our company requires. We can create templates that contain our very own document wording. We can set up our own header and footer and best of all, we can populate our letter with case data. So instead of creating a document from scratch, I create a single template document that we reuse multiple times. In that template document, I then define areas where I want Patricia to insert information from the case itself. This is added when we generate the template against our case. This saves me time as I don't need to manually add case information, but simply grab it from the case itself when I need it. In this example, I have a standard template. Notice the heading here. The little brackets that you see mark that the text in bold are bookmarks or letter code text. This simply means it's a container that is empty right now, but when I generate my document, Patricia will insert the correct data. Let's generate this letter against my case to see how data is added for us. Look at that. Patricia used the template bookmarks to see what was needed and then fetched it from the case to insert it into our document. Patricia supports three document formats, and your templates can be in any one of these formats. The formats are Microsoft Word documents, rich text format documents, or PDF documents. In this video, we will not be dealing with how to create templates. Instead, we will focus on generating the documents for our cases. So now that we have established that we can generate documents based on an existing template, how do we actually find those templates to generate? To access the document area, click on the View Print Documents button. We will look at this window in detail soon, but first know that we have two options on how we can generate our documents. First, you can generate any template available by using this drop-down. This drop-down lists all document templates available to generate. The second and better way to generate documents are to do it via terms. Terms in your case define what we need to do. If we have a term that states follow up with client, it makes sense that we have a template that has this type of letter linked. So documents can be linked to terms. This means that you can access the correct document quickly and efficiently without having to search for it or scroll through a long list of templates. Let's see. I have a case with active terms registered on the actions page. This term requires me to follow up with client. Now I will click on the View Print Documents page. Here I can see the active terms listed. To find our follow up letter, I need to select the relevant term, which is 4601 in our case. Notice that on the Documents area we now see relevant documents linked to that term. We can choose and then generate this document. Also note that it's possible to have multiple terms on our case and each one can have its own set of documents available. If I click on the Notify of Renewal term, I can see a different set of documents available to me. To generate a document, tick the tick box next to the document code. When I do this, I can see a short summary of the letter properties that appear. This gives me valuable information at a glance. I have now chosen which document to generate, and once I click OK, these documents will be created. Also, whenever I generate a document from within Patricia, it is automatically saved to my case. Great, now let's look at this window in detail. First, we have the case number, which shows against which case these documents will be generated. All the bookmarks will be populated with data found in the case reference you see here. The case number value defaults to the currently opened case and can be changed by clicking on the search icon. Once a reference has been changed, remember to click the Start button to update the window. 
Next we have the term area where we can see all terms registered against our case. As mentioned, click on a term to see the available documents. Below this we have the document section where we choose which documents to generate. To the right we have the document properties which allow us to define properties of the document before it is generated. The document property area has several uses. First we have the find letter options where we can grab and generate documents that are not linked to my terms. I can choose a document from a drop down or type in the document name to search for it. Furthermore, I can limit my drop down and search results by using the editor type. If I want to see only Word documents, then I must untick PDF and Patricia. Patricia being RTF format. My drop down will then be limited to only show Word documents and not PDF or Patricia RTF. This filtering functionality is very useful if you have many templates in your system and are struggling to find the correct one. Moving on to letter properties. First up we have the language option. Patricia fully supports multiple languages and this includes document templates. You choose the language in which your document should be generated. The header footer area allows you to set a specific header or footer to be included in your template. The correspondence style allows you to choose a different format of the same letter. The log document dropdown is quite important. This determines how and if this document is to be saved to your case. If you set this to no login, the document will be created but will not be saved to your case. The single log states that the document will be saved to the case and this is the default selection. The family log sets the document to be saved to our open case and any family cases. So if this is set to family log, this document is saved to family wide cases. The email properties set if and how we are to send this document via email. If we want to send this via email, then tick send as email. The email properties drop down allows us to choose how the document should be emailed. And lastly, you can register terms with the new term field. So all of these settings can be preset by your super user. You do not need to make all of these choices each time you generate a document. When we generate only one template, we saw that it opens up in the relevant viewer. But what if we want two documents or more? What is the process? So we can generate multiple documents in one go by clicking additional tick boxes. In my example, I will select TM001 and TM002 and then click on OK to generate my documents. When you generate multiple documents, the first document will open. The remaining documents will show up on a list in a new window that appears. To view any of the listed entries, highlight it and click on the document button. So we've established that Patricia is able to insert data into our created letter from our open case. We do this via letter codes when we use RTF format and bookmarks when we use word format. Letter codes and bookmarks are the very same thing, but for the sake of clarity, I will make that distinction here. So in my letter heading, I need to include the country of a case. I then add the bookmark that says country and my template will populate that bookmark with data when created. But what if we want to insert information that we do not have available in our case? Or the information we need to add may change on a regular basis. Let's say something along the lines of a letter where we refer to a previous correspondence date. We do not have this information available on the case as a letter code, which means the user will need to insert this when they generate the letter. We call this user defined letter codes. When our user generates that document, they will be prompted to enter this information on the Enter User Defined Letter screen. In my example, I have a letter where I need to provide the previous correspondence date. I will now generate this document and notice the prompt I get. I need to enter the necessary information. Once I do, I click Save and my letter will generate with the provided information inserted into the body. So from this video it's clear what a robust and time-saving feature this can be.